Hello, winner takes all 7-7. Anyway, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream, and hello, everybody. Welcome back to my Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin Blind. We are going to be continuing our playthrough. When we left off yesterday, we were exploring um, the final DLC. We beat the two pets. What were they? The like the we the 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 black tiger things. It was like the two of them in a boss fight. We beat them, and the only thing left to do is to find the last knight in the area so that we can go and fight the uh, the last boss of this DLC, and then we can pretty much from there. We were, I think we're. From there, I think we're pretty much uh, only got one left. Only got the final boss of the main game left to beat. Totally forgot following you, but I'm sold that my past self made the right decision. Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Well, um, I hope you, I hope you do enjoy the stream. Hey, Vanel, how far are you into the DLC? Uh, we basically only have one more of these knights to find, and then I think it's just the boss. That we fight once we have all them. Uh, I think that's it. Unless there's more after that. But I think I'm pretty sure that's all that's left. Uh, I think I know where the final knight is or the area that he's in. So we're going to try and go there and find him. Did I kill Maldron? Who's Maldron? Is Maldron the... Uh, oh, Maldron. He's the fucker that stabbed us in the back. Last time. Uh, no. That's that's where I'm heading to, though. We're going back to that area so that we can... Uh, so that we can kill him. Pretty sure we can get there from up here, if I remember right. Little bands. Hold on. Yo, thank you for the two little bits. One of takes all. I <laughs> think like one point eight cents. Thanks, man. I appreciate the bits. Yeah, we've got uh, we've gotten two of the lost knights now. We found the one. Ow. You know, I was a bit to, I was a bit to say the ones we found, but genuinely, I don't even know how to explain the ones that we found. But we've definitely found at least two of them. And then there was one. And then there's obviously the one that's already uh, next to the boss room. So there's only one more for us to get, and I'm pretty sure it's uh yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure it's where we got. Killed by that, uh, by that Maldron guy. Because when we were there, I opened a big ass door below, but I never actually got to go and see what was behind it. And I assume, I assume that is where the uh, last night is. So, can I just like run by you? No, you're gonna. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. I was pretty sure this led to over here. Which is way faster than going from the first bonfire, I think. Alright. You know, I probably should actually... 
Just in case these guys decide to throw shit at me. So much for trying to get a backstab there. <laughs> Christ. Right. I mean, we've pretty much explored this whole area before. Gotta get back up to where. Our... I mean, I guess we technically don't even have to go back up that way where that guy invaded. Because that was just to open the door. I think, anyway. Okay, this is not a great situation to be in. Oh, okay. 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 Well, that sucks. That's uh, unfortunate. Really didn't want to have this take a long time. But it looks like it's gonna have to. God damn it. You know, if I go down to this area that we were before and I f end up finding a bonfire down there that was like really fucking close to where we were last time when we died. I am going to be pissed. I have spent way, 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 way too much time in this area having to backtrack through these sections multiple times. Hey, try rolling. How's it going, man? Welcome. Which one does this stream? Oh, Yarna's luck. What happened to you? I was been in here before me. Yeah, I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright. We did just die, which is annoying, but... Other than that. I have tried the Lois Great Knight sword. I really was not a fan of it. I think it's... It seems to be a lot slower than the one we're using. Um, And I don't... I think it's... I think a lot of the reason is because I'm not used to the moveset with it as well. So I wasn't really... I wasn't really doing that well with it. But I might, I might try it again at some point. I guess it's good to know these guys can't go down ladders. And 
And they don't really get aggroed unless you're like really close to them, so. Busy in the other places of the house, losing a small amount of weight. Oh, nice dude. Congrats on that. Where does that other knight come from? Is he not gonna attack me? Hmm. Yeah, I know, right? How the hell did that jump attack not stun him? Jump attack with a great sword somehow does not even stun these guys. Like, what the hell is that about? Wait, is there not another knight? What? Wasn't there another knight down there that attacked us when we went down there to fight this guy before? And now all of a sudden there's not. Okay. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, it was this guy. How the hell did he get aggroed on us before from all the way over there? What the fuck? Oh, uh, you know what? He maybe probably got aggroed while I was like right above him. That makes sense. Okay. Let me take these guys out. Just so we don't get swarmed by them. You survived that somehow. I think there's another one over here. No? Oh, guess not. This shouldn't be a big deal anyway, they can take them out in one hit. Speaking of- oh, there's th like three of them in there, okay. Oh, four of them. Excuse me. Okay. So we got out here before. Oh, there's an elevator here as well. I do not remember where that goes. Hmm. Now we do have to be careful over here because there were a lot of mages. Although the there was a, there was a couple of invaders. Uh, NPC invaders over here before, but we did kill them. So hopefully, so they won't be back, which is nice. Make this area a little bit easier to get through than what it was like before. Oh, wait. Shit. Did I go the wrong way? Isn't this the way... Oh shit. Is this not the way to where we got killed by that... that white phantom? I am so confused now. Huh? Where the fuck did we go last time that took it? What? <laughs> okay, now I'm actually officially like fucking lost. How 
where, what, where, hmm. Okay. I thought that was taking us to the place where the mages or the casters were, where those weird hedgehog things were. There was an there was a white phantom. There was a there was a black phantom disguised as a white phantom, who followed us. I opened a door with a lever, and then he stabbed me in the back and killed me. I thought this is how we got there, and now I have no fucking idea how we get there. If this isn't the way, unless it's like in here, I might be completely lost, guys. And I have no idea where the hell I'm going. <laughs> uh. Shit. Did I just waste my goddamn time going through that whole place? Fuck. <laughs> I think, yeah. I think I have. God damn it. I have no idea where the hell it is then. If I'm being honest. That takes us up there, which is not helpful. Am I gonna have to go? Am I gonna have to go for the first bonfire again and find my way there? How the fuck did I? How did I completely forget the direct, the way to get there? That's... Unless it's over here, is there another exit over here? That I didn't... That I forgot about? No, just a chest. Well, shit. Hmm. Okay, so how the fuck do I get back there? Because that was like one of the first areas we went to, wasn't it? Like one of the one of the first areas in the game. And this and uh, this place that we that we ended up going to, I think, wasn't it? And it was before, because it was, it was before we like fought the boss and like cleared the place out of um... It was before we like, yeah, found our way out here and cleared the place of uh... Of all like the wind and shit. Yeah, this just brings us out here. Maybe, maybe this is the way. That we're going.
Maybe? No, I don't think it is. Wait, maybe it is. I'm actually like so fucking lost now. I have no idea how we get to where I'm. Th like, I know the area, I know what it looks like, and a lot of the shit there, but I just don't remember how the fuck to get there. That ta that takes you. That takes us to where the, the the optional boss was. So it's not that way, and like down there and back that way takes us somewhere else. Hmm. Well, we, we got there before the ice was all melted, and that over there was blocked off by ice, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's this way. Oh shit, there's a chest here. Yeah, yeah, the optional boss that was like the two, the two like black tiger things, yeah, we killed those. We managed to, uh, we managed to beat them yesterday. Oh, hello. Only thing we've got left to do is find one more of those knights and then we can go and fight the last boss of this, of the DLC. Oh, hello. It's just a matter of actually finding. I just gotta find my way to the area because I know what it is. Well, I know. I know if once I'm, once I get there, I'll know. See you later, shield. Oh yeah, this ladder was invisible for before, wasn't it? Don't think it was up here? No, this just takes you up here. It may be doing those stairs, because I remember I think I remember we were We were by that invisible ladder and that before. Possibly the first that may have been the first place that we found. Maybe down this way. Okay, why is this guy like taking no damage? And die, asshole. Faced. No, this just takes us back down here. We just went in a fucking circle. What the fuck? That literally. Ah, okay. The first time, this is how we found this. Fucking, right, where, where am I actually going? Where is this? I'm genuinely, like, actually just lost at this point. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> God damn it. Where the fuck is it? I genuinely, I'm just trying to think now. Um,
I'm officially lost. I have no idea where I'm going. I mean, at this point, I'm just circling back around. I have no idea where I'm going. But at the same time, I don't want to go back to a bonfire because that'll respawn all the enemies. And going th possibly going through an area of my enemies that I've killed will take much longer than me just like walking around. How the fuck, man? How have I completely forgot where this area is and how to get to it? It's like the one area I haven't fully explored yet. I'm pretty sure. So it must be where the last night is. But I have no idea. I just do not remember how to get to it. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back over here. I mean, yeah. It must be, it must be on, on one of the paths past the first bonfire. Which means it has to be possibly down there. Because that's like the only place I have not... Is up here. I don't think there was... I guess there was, actually. I don't remember what's over there. Let me go check what's over here first. Okay, this was just a Faris Lockstone. Yeah. Can I even can I, I'm trying to see if I can see where that area was that I that I was in before. I can't even like see what it is from up here. It was like down below, underneath buildings and shit, there was like pillars everywhere. Hmm. This takes us back over here. That's the beginning area. That takes you over to where the optional boss is, that's just an empty room. That's what that takes us back down there. That's not what it is. And then this way just leads back to the second bonfire. God damn it! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I'm literally just going around in circles here. I keep finding the same areas. What the actual fuck? How am I managing to... Hmm. Okay. How did you not get up and attack me? I do have repair powder. So... I don't have to worry too much about my sword getting broken. But I should use something now. I don't want it to start breaking while I'm in the middle of fighting something. Got plenty anyway. Dead end. Takes us... This is where we came from, wasn't it? Yeah, that's where we came from, but we're going to have to go back down that way and jump down. And then they are all... Over there, I think, everywhere is just either a dead end or takes us back to where we were. So, as far as I can tell, the only way we can go is down here. There must be another way down here that I have not explored yet. Or that I, that I explored before that took us to where we need to go and I just have forgotten. Is 
is like the seventh time that I've went through this little section over here. Okay. Why do they go through walls? <laughs> what kind of bullshit is this? Not only can they, not only do the enemies' swords not bounce off walls when they swing them like others do, but their fucking projectiles can just go through walls now as well. <laughs> totally fair. Don't fucking kill me here, I swear to god. Fuck off. I mean, it's magic, but that <laughs> does not excuse it. I mean, come on. Sure, if I was using sorcery, mines would fucking not go through all the walls that are in here. Okay, that right now. Okay, it must be for here that we go. It must be somewhere from here. Is it down there? Was it down here? I mean, I might as well check. It may be, because it was definitely like down somewhere. I'm pretty sure. And I don't remember where this elevator goes, although this looks like it was after the ice was broken and I'm pretty sure I fucking is done here, oh my god Okay, really? Really? No, fuck off. Okay, this is an issue. God fucking damn it, I wanna actually stab something. is just get through this. I'm actually getting really tired of this DLC at this point. 
I'm so fucking tired of having to go through these areas over and over and over again. Oh my fucking god. You know, I swear I remember my backstabs one-shotting these guys, and now all of a sudden it's not, and I don't know why. Alright. Am I, like, am I doing less damage than I was before or something? Like, what is going on? I swear I was able to one-shot these guys with a backstab before. With the same weapon. And now all of a sudden, I'm not. I'm very confused. Oh, do you know what it might... Is it... Hold on. I swear, maybe if I put on the Ring of Blades. Maybe now I'll be doing enough to one-shot them. Is that why? Is maybe because I... Possibly because I had the Ring of Blades on before? I did switch up the rings quite a bit when we were fighting those, uh, those tiger things. I love how without the fucking without that one ring on I was somehow leaving every single goddamn enemy with like we like two percent of their health left after every after an attack. Damn it. Um, hello? You guys get stuck? Where's the other guy? Oh, there you are.
You mean not spamming that shit? Yeah. I'm gonna bother with that guy, I'll just run by him. Can you imagine if I'd like just thought the elevator was there and just fucking walk by? Okay, this time I'm just going to stay in here and I'm just going to shoot those fucking rabbits because apparently my sword will just swipe over them, not hit them, and they'll just like stab me like 30 times in a row with their goddamn spikes. So, that's fun. And it looks like they, for some reason, will not come in this room, so... I'm sorry, what did that hit against? Ah, <sighs> oh, that sucks dude, sorry to hear that. I'll see, I'll, we'll see you next stream then. This is where I was before. No, there's yeah, there's some of these rabbit guys. Yeah, at least I know one shot from that will kill them. I keep my distance so that I don't bump into their spikes, and we'll be good. Like that. <laughs> okay. I wasn't sure if he was going to come after me or not. I don't think I ever opened that door. What's in here? Ah, okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> Was that it just hit me? Oh. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I got up there and I opened this door. And that takes us down here. This doesn't... Hmm. Doesn't look like there would be a night down here. But this is literally the only other place I have not explored. As far as I can tell. So, if he's not down here, I have no fucking idea where he is. Alright, well, something's clearly gonna jump out and fucking attack me as soon as I jumped in there. I really, really hope. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried, not gonna lie.
What the fuck? Oh. Lag thing? Really? Didn't we... We fought one of these in the, um... Where? What was what was the area that it was the it was the valley, wasn't it? The uh the poison valley place. We fought this guy. Oh god. It wasn't like super tough, so that shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. <laughs> that was possibly the last enemy I was expecting to see down here, I'm not gonna lie. What the fuck? Ooh, two Twinkling Titanite. A plus eight large club. Alright. Suppose you could use that to fight him. Ride route. Not what I was expecting to find. Another dried route. An ivory, ivory warrior ring. Ooh. Got some crimson water and some smooth silky stones. Please, please, please tell me the last night is done here. Please. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Stall no done. Fight an enemy that used to be a boss, and that's not enough. Okay. Short cut ahead. Ah, okay. And that brings us back out there. The fuck is that? Ah, it was more of these... Giants. Are they already... Looks like one of them's ready to move. Are the other ones? That one's not... Doesn't look like that one up there is. And that one's not. Okay, so this is clearly a situation of we'll kill him and then that'll force one of them to be alive. Okay. Fatty. <laughs> You're hilarious. Um doesn't help that there's these rabbits around as well. I would really prefer not to fight these guys two or three at a time. But what's the best plan of action here? I think the best plan is probably to yeah, get him get them aggroed and get them up here. So that they're not close to the giants. Okay, really? How the fuck did that mess? Why am I locked off?
Alright. Oh, really? There's a fucking other one? What? That's why I pointed out that I fucking... That's why I pointed out what happened there. I was aim I was locked on him, pressed R1 to attack and for some reason my guy was like, I'm gonna stab to the left. For no reason. Yeah, these guys are quite easy. Slow as fuck. I'm fine with no more of them getting woken up, to be honest. I just want to be done with this place. Ooh, fire resin. Somewhat appropriate, I guess. Fucking hell, I mean look at how much damage they can, these things can do to you. Oh, you're, you're up. I'm just gonna go up here. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna hope that this takes me to where the last night is, because I am fucking tired of this area. I wanna be I wanna be done with it. What the hell is this? Fuck me, man! Can I just Oh okay, I know where I am. If this isn't where the last lone night is, I'm gonna fucking go up shit. <laughs> I mean, it has to be. I kind of always wondered how the fuck we got up here. Can we just give me a fucking break here? Fuck. How many? How many made enemies until I can just get to the last night? Okay, how did that not kill you? Thank fucking god. Finally. 
<laughs> Finally. Oh my god. It's about goddamn time. Well, I think that's it. Can I push this? Yeah, how do I? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> well, we have a shortcut over here now. That's pretty sweet. Oh. Well, I think that's us. We just have to walk back to all those guys. Go back. We just have to walk back to the cathedral and uh, go down and try and fight the last boss of this area. And we're finally fucking done. Finally done with this DLC after God knows how long. Is having to play through this, having to go through these multiple areas over and over and over and over and over again. Zai's staff, radiant life gems, and back to the Oh, thank God. All right. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Hmm. First things first. I was going to Majula to spend these souls. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, a little bit more. Pick it up. I guess. I should need three. God damn. F only. I must be missing. I must be missing a. An Estes, an Estes flask uh, piece. I doubt, can just kind of, I highly doubt that uh, 11 would be the amount they would go for for the maximum flasks. I'm assuming it must be 12, unless I've somehow missed 4 and it's 15. But I mean, one off isn't too bad. I can live with that. Okay, finally. We can go through here and fight this fucking king and be done with the DLC. I gotta say, this one was definitely my least favourite of the DLCs so far. Could partly be my fault for having a, for maybe not doing it in a good order that made me have to go and backtrack through the areas so much, but... I don't know. All right, I'm just going to go in first and uh, see what the boss is like, and then after we kind of t see what the boss is like, we can uh, start thinking strategies and items to use and stuff. But for now, I just want to see how this goes. Oh, hello. Whoa. Yeah, this, uh, this looks like the chaos from Lost Isleth. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Okay, can I only have like one aggro at a time, please? There's four of us, four of them. I mean, come on. Well, there's actually five of us, so. Also, can I not backstab? This guy, or, or what? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, 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 okay! Fucking hell! That prick, the glowing prick. Okay, there's a lot of them. Maybe I should just focus on the knight. <laughs> the actual, like, main guy. Holy crap. That's not the fight I was expecting, to be honest. I wasn't a... I was not expecting it to be like a, a whole a brawl. That is interesting. Okay, so... Yeah, fire resistance. Maybe the gowl ring for backstabs would be good as well. Seems like we're going to be getting hit in the back a lot since there's so many guys. We could also, we can actually use the Bright Bug as well, since we technically are not, uh, we're technically not using summons with these guys. I think we'll try Quartz Ring on, and where's the Gower Ring? Gower Ring. I think those two be a good, a good way to go. Up humanity to get health back up. Recommend the spelling ring as well since it gives you dark defense as well. By our luck, hmm. We could, we, yeah, we could maybe try that. Okay, so the fire pours out. There's only, th okay, so there's only three of these rooms. Only three knights seem to come out to begin with. Okay, who the fuck? Who is it that's you? You're a, you're the pyromancer. Get rid of you first, wanker. Um, okay, so it's just going to be like an army of these knights, I guess. guys give me a horn here. Here, I'll take care of this guy. Fucking hell. don't do a lot of damage. Oh. Ah. So is this going to be... We basically keep fighting until they all get frozen over. Fucking just surround them. Just surround them. Oh. Here comes the big boy. Oh. Wait. Ah, okay, I was for a second there I thought the door was like his horns for a helmet or something. Alright. What are we in for? What do I just... 
Oh, here comes Bon Ivory King. Oh, you are a lot smaller than I thought you were going to be, buddy. You're a lot smaller. Oh. Still going to have some pals come in and help you. Yeah, okay, okay. What the fuck? Why did that just like one shot me there? Holy shit. Wow, he's going up and freezing them. God damn. I have no idea what he just did to me. He just went and just fucked me. Holy crap. That's true. In Dark Souls, small boss, small means, does mean dangerous. That's, that is usually how things go. Like, oh, your boss is a big dragon. Okay, that is cool. He's going to be tough, but not too bad. And it's like, oh, the boss is just a regular guy the size of you. That's where you're like, oh, no, I'm about to get fucked up. <laughs> okay. Well, that went well until we got to the boss. Um, God damn. We can take out the first knights quite easily if I just go for the pyromancers first. Um... So these no just fire and shares. And then if I take out the, the pyromancer that comes right out after he's out, after the boss comes, then the guy will freeze that and then it'll just be us and the boss. That was actually a pretty good attempt. Well, good to know, good to know. All right. Uh, okay, hold on. Before we before we go for another attempt, I need to go take a quick pee break. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes, and then we'll uh, try that again. So I'll be back and be back soon. Don't go anywhere.
Oh, okay, I'm back. All right. First things first. Pop of humanity. It's so weird to me that this <laughs> this wee guy flings onto your fucking your back like this. All right. Oh shoot! Oh, there's a summon here. Oh, it's her. You know, okay, I'm 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 summoning her because she's fucking badass, and I don't I don't remember if I've been able to actually. I don't th I don't know if I've actually summoned her for a fight before, and she's really really cool. Yeah, she's like one of my favorite NPCs in this game. She's badass. Let's let's have her help. That's cool as fuck. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I'll not I'll not go two. I'll go one. I don't want the boss's health to be ridiculously high. All right, boys. Oh, I can't use my break, of course. Okay, that's fine. Let's do this. Pop the gold pine resin once we get done there. I'm assuming the gold pine resin is probably my best bet since these, uh... Actually, you know what? Run. Should be. Should do as well. Fucking hell. I got I got bad real quick. So I'm good for the Powder Man, so... Fucking hell. That again, that fucking does so much damage. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh god. Oh god. Oh he's- oh shit, she's getting fucked up over there. Fuck you. Okay, that's two of these frozen now. Oh, here he comes! He's still barely alive. I really wish she would heal. Does she not have... Maybe she doesn't have Estus. Also, actually, maybe a good idea for me to stone over here. Pop this again. Because the Pyromancer is going to come out as well. I'm hoping the boss is going to go for... We've only got two of these guys left? Fucking hell. I'm hoping the boss will run for one of them, and then I can try and take out the Pyromancer. Okay, yeah, he is. Oh, this one's not a Pyromancer. He's... I guess it's... I guess it must be random. Okay, there we go. So now it's just us and the boss. And he is coming after me. Ooh, okay, you are fast. What's he doing? 
What are you doing? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh, that was close. Me and you now, buddy. Somehow I missed you fucking three times there. No. Ah, oh, that was a bad time to try and heal. Oh, fucking hell. Oof. At least he's not he's sword powered up anymore. Oh no. No 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 Okay Fuck I don't have any more left. No, no. This is bad. I really need to. I really need to get healed. Fuck. Fuck. in hell. He's so close. I, I swear to God, if I die, I'm going to be pissed.
I have to step away for a second. Yeah, literally, literally the last, in the last moments, I was so worried the fact that I didn't have any healing items left, well, I was so worried about not having any Estus left and trying to get healed that I started not dodging his attacks as well as I was for the whole fight and he just kept hitting me and I panicked. It was, it was a vicious cycle of me trying to heal because I was so worried about dying, I was fucking up the dodges, which was making him hit me, which was making me panic more, and it was... Yeah, we were literally like two, three hits maybe, left and he would have been dead. Uh, you know what's funny? I actually, me, me and my roommate actually have a punching bag. We actually have a punching bag in the uh, in the living room, in the corner. So if I if I really needed to, I could go get a few wax tea for the pent up rage that I have right now. <laughs> oh, you know what's really irritating about that? If I didn't use the summon, I probably would have killed him because he would have had less health. After she died. And I probably would have killed him a lot faster. But at the same time, we heard no being there. We may have also got a lot more damage. A lot more damage from the from the nights beforehand and that could have ended up fucking us, so I got a Twix as comfort food to eat before we try that again. Oh, the Estus threw us off because I still thought I had more. I thought I had one or two left. And I was low in health. And I went to heal and we had zero left. So I just like went, uh, and nothing happened. And then I realised and then I was like, oh fuck, I have to like... I was like one hit from death at that point. And was like, I need to heal. And that just threw me off. If I realised I didn't have any left... I probably would have been fine now. I would have been able to just use the life gems to heal. And then I would probably wouldn't have panicked and got fucked. <laughs> also, well, I was going to say I should maybe have Divine Blessings on. But I can't remember how long the animation is for, is for that. 
And I don't know if that would have even been worth using. Cannot believe that one. Cannot believe I was that close on like my second try of that fight. God damn it. I mean, the good thing is, he's not super tough. All of his attacks are pretty easy to dodge. Um, it's mostly it's mostly when he's got his when he's got his sword all glowing and shit. It becomes harder and harder to dodge. But we can probably we can we can beat him. Oh, god damn, man. Wait, no. God damn it. Can't even navigate the menus anymore. Okay, Divine Blessing. Got up at that one now. Oh, you know what? I realised that's broke. Okay. We do have the soul of the we do have the other soul of that of the of one of the bosses, so let me let me go to Majula and get that fixed. unbelievable man you know it's the weird i went through the i went the, through the entire a dark souls one and not once did i ever have a boss that low on health like i don't think at any point did we ever have a boss that low on health and die but somehow it's happened twice now in dark souls 2 there and then i also ha that also happened with um the uh what's his name it's the it's the the night that's like the the night that you fight just before you find King Vendrick. Like the boss that you fight there that's like protecting him and then after you kill him like you see Vendrick just like wandering around that room. I ham uh, to him as well. We go ham doing it like pretty much the same amount of health. And um he fucking killed me. So it's twice ham twice now in this uh, in this game. Yeah, Velstad, that's his name. I always have to take everything out of my quick quick use HUD except healing items, otherwise I end up Using those when you're trying to heal and think of the battle. Yeah. I mean, usually, usually the only thing I'll have on my hot bar for boss fights is uh, as uh, like some resin that I'm using to power myself up or something, and then just healing names. God damn it, man! As in fury. All right. Why so? Wait, when did I? What is this for? Soul of the Knight of Lois. The Knights of Lois were taken by chaos and lost all sense of purpose and being. The few wheeled, the few woeful souls that trudged back home were gained by from a faint vestige of. Siege vestige of hell of self. The soul is pure sorrow, and only only Alana can put it to rest. What the fuck? Does not yield souls, but perhaps. Huh. 
Did I get that from from one of the from one of the knights that we were fighting? And the boss fight? Huh. See you later, Finhelm. Sorry, your internet sucks. As sucking as uh, as a sucking right now, and you can't watch. that. Take it to the woman before the ivory. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'll take it down and see if she's, what she's got to say about that. Strange. I've got the fucking DuckTales song stuck in my head, by the way, that's why I just said that. <laughs> I don't know why I stuck my head. It's not like I've I've not, even, I've not been watching or anything. It's just one of those songs. One of those songs that just gets fucking stuck in your head randomly. And doesn't go away for days. <laughs> Yo. I speak to you. Many are the lame voices of faithful knights who followed their lord into the chaos. I didn't even see her up there. Unless she's not actually there, unless it's just okay. I got one of their souls, will that? Okay, maybe she won't actually do anything until I kill him. Alright. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna use the poison resin again for the uh, regular knights. I don't actually know if this is gonna. I guess I don't know if the poison resin is, resin is really helping with these guys, but you never know. Maybe it is. Fucking hell. I wish I could backstab these guys. Okay. Is this guy left, I think? I think that's it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm getting more lice, lice souls. 
Very curious what these uh, what these do. Maybe it's like a covenant thing. I don't know. Maybe. All right. I'm going to hope that the guy that comes out of there isn't a pyromancer as well. As that would be quite unfortunate. There's also there's more of us alive this time. There's need us still alive than these two guys. So things might go a bit better this time for us. You deal with them. Oh god. Better not get aggroed on me. Oh, it is a fucking pyromancer. Of course it is. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, why are you coming after me? Why? Why? Oh, I'm dead. Did not know that was... Wow. I kind of feel cheated there, because he was doing the animation for that attack, but he was literally facing the other knight, not me, and then he just, like, jumped to me. So I genuinely didn't think he was even, like, coming after me with that. Well, that went horribly compared to the first time. Well, the, or the second time, I guess. Christ. I'm going to get to the point where we're going to be, like, out healing items and shit. I don't think I've don't have any bright bugs left either. Yep. Run out of humanities too. Who's this? Let me see who this is. Twiggy? Shy? Oh, someone with a bow. Alright. If we don't win this time, I might try Twiggy. To see how he does against in the, in the fight. Don't fucking die immediately. That was very, very close.
Fucking hell. He's peace for two seconds. What the fuck was that? What? What? You, what? I don't. Even, I didn't even see what hit, what hit me there. I did so much damage. Like what the fuck? God damn it! <laughs> now all of a sudden I can't even get to the bus. Christ Almighty! Only so many attempts left before. I'm gonna to have to go and farm souls so that I can buy more humanities and and resins and shit. Christ Almighty! Alright, let me try. Let me try this guy. See if he does better. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. I really gotta love how these knights will just always come right after me. Piss off. Did I not have like two on me at once? Fucking hell. How is it? <laughs> Fucking pyromancy, man. I do not understand it. How is it that, like, a p like pillars of fire coming out of the ground, or like a fireball, does, like, one fifth of my health? But him go having a little flamethrower and go, psh, like, two feet in front of him, somehow just goes, fucking literally destroys like all my health in one go even with a fire quartz ring I stun in that like little flamethrower attack for like a setting then like 90% of my health is just gone also that guy was that archer guy was garbage he was like doing like he was genuinely doing like no fucking damage with his bow and he was like firing like one arrow every like five settings he was yeah, let's, she's, she's, she's way better. Well, I've only got a couple of minutes attempts at this before I won't be able to summon anymore. Although, to be honest, we managed to get to the boss the first time without using a summon, so.
What a surprise, more than one of them fucking on me at a time. Right, you, come here. Get rid of him first so he's not throwing shit. Nice guys, you're fucking doing really well here. Fuck. Another unit? We just killed a fucking pyromancer and there's another unit already. Fucking no, that attack! <laughs> what is that? It just does, like, instantly just kills you, man. Fucking hell. I just don't even. <laughs> oh my god. I literally can't even make it to the boss now. This is ridiculous. The fire resistance on this armor isn't great. Power resistance and the shield's okay, 71%, that's pretty decent. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go down and grab my souls and then warp out. And just, just so I can see... May, it might be worthwhile changing up our armor and stuff. If I can find armor that's got just high elemental resistance, it might be worth just going for that. Because not only do we have the fire from these guys, but there's also the... Um, There's also the, uh, the magic from the actual boss. Like, when, I'm assuming that once, when he does that blue shit to his sword, I am assuming that starts doing magic damage from the look of it. It looks like that kind of, that that's what's happening with it. And we have actually got, <laughs> got a lot of souls from killing those knights down there, so... It may be worthwhile doing that. 100,000 souls should be enough for us to maybe look at some armor we've got that we've got high elemental resistances and get it upgraded. Because this fight is just... Yeah, blue is... Yeah, if something's, if some, if something's glowing blue, that that's magic. <laughs> it's doing magic damage. No. We have a lot of armor sets. And the, uh, and the old item box. Kind of hate the fact that I can't look at the actual stats from here on the items. Like, I, the fact that I can't look just, just, like, tells me what it is. Why can I not press a button to look at all the stats that it has? Instead, I pretty much have to just take all of the armor out, and then look at all, and then put it all back in.
I think the Jester has got good, some good fire resistance. Maybe? Well, let's have a look. So... Hold on, let me just... Okay, so these two are the ones that we want. We want these two to be kind of high. We probably want them to have at least somewhat decent physical defense as well. Since we are going to be getting, you know... We're going to be getting hit by a lot of physical attacks. We can maybe have, maybe have a mix. Maybe have like two armor pieces that are really high physical resistance. And then have two more that have got really high elemental resistances. Kind of mix and match. Okay, well, let's, let's at least look for something that's got high magic and fire resistance. If that is even a thing. Okay, our helmet the new has got 13 and 21. Okay, yeah, the okay, yeah, the jester's got got higher magic resistance, but not higher fire. Anything that's got higher on both. Science helm's got high fire resistance. High magic for the Mask of Judgment. Seems like there's nothing that has high fire and magic, which is a problem. Seems like 21's actually kind of high in terms of fire resistance. Compared to the rest of the helmets that we've got. The only one that's higher is this. The Scion Helm. The Gurm Great Shield has got 100% fire resistance. Yeah, if it's a Great Shield though, we're probably not got enough strength to hold it. If it's a Great Shield. Um... Mm. Oh wait, the one night armor has actually got higher resistance and everything except magic, including fire, by quite a lot. Drang likes got higher magic resistance and higher physical resistance by a lot as well. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they. Why am I use? Why am I not using the alone nice set if it seems to be? It's so much better than everything else I've got. What the fuck? What's wrong with me? I mean, I guess I have to take that into account as well. Is that is that this helmet is at plus seven, and I don't really have anything else that's. As high as that, so anything that's close to its stats would probably be better off. Yeah, the, oh, here's where we go, the gun. That seems pretty good. Its physical resistances are quite high. Fire resistance is kind of low. Magic is just below what it is, but if we upgrade this, it'll probably be a lot better. Looks weird. <laughs> Maybe this? This might work? And then we can see if we can upgrade these. Um... Now let me have a look at the shields I've got as well. Oh, I don't need all these magic shields. Uh... 
Okay. Do I have the Gwyn Great Shield actually? Maybe I do. I do not. Or the Gurm Great Shield, it doesn't look like I actually have that. This is, I think this is the only shield I have that's got 100% physical resistance. Well, the only one that I can wield, at least. Yeah. This is probably the best shield I've got. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade this armor in any way. Okay, this is just Twinkling Titanite. Titanite chunks for that, so that's not going to go up anymore. Titanite chunks for that as well. Titanite shards. Okay. I can fully upgrade this. Okay, if I just buy two tiny shards and I'll be able to upgrade the helmet a decent amount as well. Tiny chunks for that as well. Um, okay, so we might be maybe able to take us a bit better now. What? You sell humanities? Yeah. No. The rest of the souls that we've got might be worthwhile going to some merchants and buying like humanities and stuff. Could buy a bright bug. What eight thousand though for one? Christ. I could do that though. And then the only thing is using a bright bug does take a little while, I think. If the summon dies before the boss comes out. On the anim while he's while he takes forever showing up, then I could, then I could uh, throw that on. Or maybe go and buy some more gold pine resin in the shaded, f the shaded woods as well. What about you? What do you got? You do not sell humanities either. Yeah, I know, right? What the fuck? Inflation much? Your shields... 95, 45, 90... No. Actually, do you, do you sell any armor that's actually made of good? You want 14? Oh, hello. The elite set. 32 and 29. Oh, that's for the thingy, though. The helmet was the thing that had, like.
Oof. Smell of demon armor. Yeah, that's understandably, understandably got very high fire resistance. St fucking straight jacket. Oh, that's for the, uh, okay, I know who that is. The looking glass armor set. Hmm. Aye, aye, always open for business. Okay, who else do we know that sells stuff? Go buy some gold pine resin. Uh, Gavlan sells stuff. Oh, Striad. And Lost Bastille, he might have some... He may sell humanities and stuff as well. Just, I just want to stock up on these then as well, just in case... We do need to make a lot more attempts at that. I would rather have plenty of humanity and stuff to use so that I can use summons. And also, so that I don't end up with extremely low health. Going back in there. I'll buy... I'll buy nine. Hmm? I'll put this up to an even ten. Even like you sell anything else that would help me. Farewell. May we meet again. Aye aye. Wasn't I actually expecting the uh... The boss of this DLC to be so tough. I mean, it's not even really just the boss. If, if, if this fight was just one on one, me and him, probably would only take me a few attempts to beat him. But, um. Yeah, he's tough. So just, just, getting, just getting up to him. Is, uh, tough enough getting through all these, all these weak cronies. <clears throat> so, if you seek bigger, aye, aye, aye. What do you sell again? Scythe of the Forlorn. It actually, looks pretty cool, but I don't know. Rings. Peace intelligence, length of spells. Absorb souls in place of wearer. Okay, you just sell some rouge war. That does not help me, Strad. Strad, whatever the fuck your name is. Okay. Uh oh. This guy. A merchant here. Forgot about him. He may have some good stuff. Sorry, dude. Didn't even mean to step inside you. Visitor, our guests are treated with honor. Tell me what he should require. Oh, God. You've got some pretty interesting shields here. The Black Lamestone Palmer. 
that you would think would block a lot of fire, but doesn't. <laughs> Limburg, Yellow Quartz, Longsword. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to put the ring off you. Got 10 old Radiant Life gems. He actually sells Divine Blessings. I guess I'll buy these just so I've got more. Is there no other... Have I bought all the humanities that I can from all the merchants? Welcome. They exist? Tell me God so soon be safe. <coughs> Are we at the point in the game where I'm going to have to farm humanities? <laughs> or human effigies? Seems like we may have bought them all from everybody that we know about. Don't forget it's good to talk to merchants when you buy stuff off of them because a lot of them give you things for spending a certain amount. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, they do do that, don't they? Well. Unfortunate. We've only got two left. This could be a problem. Well, technically, I've only got one left. No. Okay, you know what? I don't. I don't know if that's worth it. Like the second summon guy, he doesn't seem to be that great. He uses his bow, which is not. Doesn't really seem to do much damage, and for the amount of help he would give. Versus the amount of extra health the boss would get for him being there, I don't think is really worth it. Unfortunately. I'll try... ...without using any summons. This time. And if we die, I'll try, I'll use a humanity, try the summon. So I can spread out the humanities so we can get more attempts at this without my health being super low. you all come after me every time. Guys, go after somebody else and stop fucking gangbanging me. Fucking hell. Fuck. Okay. Ah, 
asshole. There's only two years left, or three years left. That's fine, that's usually what we're at for this point. Get the boss to focus on day two. Hopefully this guy will not be a pyromancer, as they're pretty dangerous. God for that. Now oh, the girl's ring really did not last very long, did it? Did you these peace? Fucking hell man. Go after one of them, you wanker. Jesus Christ. Thanks for the fucking help, Leo. <laughs> oh, that's fucking. Oh, God, that was close. Okay, yet again, he was looking the opposite direction with that attack, but somehow went right for me. Wait, that makes a lot of sense. I think we've got him this time. Hey, there we go. Fucking got him that time. Guess we didn't really need to go and do all that shit. <laughs> Thanks, bro. MVP right here. That wasn't too bad, actually. Oof. Alright, thank god for that. I thought we were going to be here all fucking night with this fight. Crown of the Ivory King. Ba -da -da -da. GG. We did it. So how many, uh, how many of those souls did we get at the end? Four! What are these lost souls? Frail thing, 
Jesus Christ, <laughs> fucking spooky ass ghost. The end of time. That sucks for you. I got four of them. I got four? Do I not give them a heart? So, is this, I'm assuming, is her or her father, the king, or whatever, I'm assuming they must be somewhat related to... They must be somewhat related to the Witch of Isolith, right? And the whole, with her and her whole, her daughters and then the Bed of Chaos, are they like... Some, they, they must be like related in some way, surely, because I mean this looks like like this shit and the shit down there looks very much like the bed of chaos and um and lost Isolith and I'm assuming obviously that was made by the witch of Isolith. Ah, yeah, yeah. Helium Lois' belt over Lost Isleth. Makes sense, makes sense. Because, yeah, you've got this shit on top. And then when you go down to the fight, there's just all the lava and shit, which is where Lost Isleth was, like, right next to the demon runes. Interesting. So does that mean we're technically... It technically means that this is Lord Dran. Oh. Fragment of Manus. Because Lost Isolith was... It was like Lost Isolith was next to the Demon Ruins, which was next to Blight Town, which was right under Firelink. And not that far away from it. I always assumed that Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 were all... Not, not, not direct sequels, but kind of. Uh, like, all, th are all, all three games are... I'm assuming, like, all three games are based in the same world, just at different points in time. Because, obviously, that, that seems to be... There seems to be a lot of people in here, in this game, and a lot of areas in this game that are very reminiscent of areas in Lordan. Or Lord Ryan. I can't even remember. I can't even fucking remember how to say it. Um, and they talk about like stuff from there, and then obviously, fucking. Or, I mean, the the main, the main thing that when I I I, I didn't know if the games were interlinked in any way, but the f thing in this game that first made me think that they were was the fact that we fight Ornstein. Like you literally fight Ornstein, and it's clearly him. He's, he's just called the Dragon Slayer, and it's clearly him. So... I'm very curious. Because... 
I wonder how. I wonder. So yeah, because Ornstein must have left. He obviously left Anne Orlando at some point, because when you're in Anne Orlando and you shoot, what's her face? Um, Gwyneth, is it? When you shoot her, and then they get past and they're like, "Oh, you! How dare you!" And now Anne Orlando's all dark and it like takes away the illusion that was going on, which was like the illusion of the the sun being there. And it being like nice and happy, all of the like sentinels, everything disappears, and you basically find out the whole area was just an illusion that um, they were putting it on, which means to me that Ornstein and Smo weren't real either. They were also part of the illusion, and that's how Ornstein is still alive in here. Which means he must have left Analondo way before. Dark Souls 1 even takes place. Maybe not way before, but before Dark Souls 1 takes place, he obviously left for whatever reason. Um, I guess maybe maybe he was like with Gwyn when he went hollow and then he just was like just decided to leave? I don't know. That would mean that Smo must be alive somewhere though, as well. But you would think he would be way Ornstein, but he's not in this. Unless Ornstein, unless Smo's actually dead. I don't know, it's fucking weird. The fucking lore in this game, man. It's just like, oh, the lore. Try to piece together the fucking story of this game is just like... <laughs> you may as well fucking... You'd have an easier time trying to put... <laughs> you'd have an easier time trying to fucking put together all the fucking Zelda games in one story. Which I kind of tried to do and didn't do an amazing job at it. At least they attempted it. Um. Alright. So, we have finished all the DLCs. We have done pretty much everything in the game. As far as I'm aware, we've done everything. The only thing left is for us to go to Drangley Castle, go through that door, and go to that fog door that we saw, which I'm assuming is the final boss. Like how the four great souls are the souls of the lords. Yeah. The four the four great souls. Oh yeah, yeah, we gotta go speak to, to we gotta go see Vendrick now that we have all the crowns. Um Okay, hold on. Before we go and do that, I am gonna go take a quick bathroom break. And when we get back we'll go talk to Vendrick and see what's going on with that. And then we shall maybe maybe we'll go and try and take on the boss. We may actually finish this fucking game tonight. Which I was not expecting. I thought maybe we wouldn't finish this until like tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. But, uh, I'll be back in a little bit.
Okay, I'm back. Did I do the Dark Lurker? Uh... I don't... No, I don't think so. That doesn't sound familiar. What is, what is that? Is that an area or is it like an optional boss? It doesn't sound familiar. Have we still got like an optional area left that we can do before the end of the game? an optional boss that needs quite a bit to be done before you can fight it. Go in the Dark Covenant and then go underground. What? How do we how do we do it? Would I be best just like looking up a guide to get to it? So that I'm not just fucking if I have no idea how to like find it. And I haven't accidentally stumbled upon it so <laughs> I imagine Probably be a better idea for me to like get a guide and see how exactly we get to it, just so we can do it. There until I... Okay. I guess we got one more thing to do then. Alright, let me look this up. Dark. Dark. I'll try and not look at what it looks like. On the wiki, so that I don't spoil it for myself. Uh, boss of the Dark Asm of Old is for. I don't know, I don't know what it looks like. Uh, I want to access area in which I can respond. You don't need to be. You don't. You don't need to be rank two in the Pilgrims of Dark Covenant. The requirement is to light up three braziers. Braziers. You will get to the boss through the exit portal. Okay, how the fuck do I? Dark chasm of old. Okay, how do we get to the dark chasm of old? Um. Okay, first talk to Dark... First talk to Dark Diver Gandal? Gandal? In all three of the locations. Black Gulch, Cherry Woods, and Wranglet Castle. In any order to join the Pilgrim of Dark Covenant. Entering requires one human effigy, but the first time is free. Oh, there's like multiple?
Who the hell is Dark Diver Grandal? Oh, it's the fucking guy in the wheelchair. Wait. Okay, I thought I've spoke to him twice. So I've I only met I've only missed him once. I spoke to him in the shaded woods. I know that for a fact. Oh, where the fuck did I talk to him the second time? Was it Black Gulch or was it Dragon Lake Castle? Uh... Okay, I spoke to him in Dragon Lake Castle as well, I remember that, reading the description. So the only time I haven't spoken to him was when he was in Black Gulch. How the fuck do I- what? In a hidden room access using the forgotten key, there's a ledge you can drop onto off the main path near the Razorback Nightcrawlers with an arc door. Further down, another ledge will lead you to the two giants that will drop the key when killed. Wait. I've already done that. I already got the forgotten key. Wait, where is he? What? And I had no room access using the forgotten key. Okay, it tells me where the forgotten key is. I'll let you can drop off into the main path and then it with an arch door. Follow down another. Okay, okay. So next to the big worm thing, there's a thing I can jump down to that has a hidden door. And that's where he is. I already have the forgotten key, so. Great, I get to go to my favourite place. The fucking shit gulch. Okay. Oh yeah, I do have both of these at plus one. Because I was farming titanite chunks. Um, Does it say what one? A ledge you can drop off onto the main path near the Razorback Nightcrawlers. Okay, so they're next to, there's the two of them next to each other. Okay. They are up there, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, what? This is not. Can I just like run away? Because I cannot be arsed dealing with this shit. Can't enter covenant with phantom present. Are you fucking serious? Are you actually kidding me on? I cannot join the covenant because that phantom is up there. What? Come on, really? Oh, hello. But he's not gonna. He's not gonna jump in here. 
Block separation crystal should get rid of him. Okay. Nope. That only gets rid of... I think that only gets rid of summoned phantoms. I suppose I could just like... I could just I can just quit. <laughs> I could just qu I can just exit the game. I can't? Are you fucking kidding? It's not gonna let me exit while he's here. What the can't even use that to go back to the bonfire. Actual camo. What is he? Why is he? I'm surprised he's no jumping down here after me. Fucking damn it. Uh not yet. We've not we've not talked to Vendrick yet. <laughs> Come on. Hold on, I'm gonna look up. But I might, look, I might know what this dried fingers do, as well. I'm gonna look this up. So I had this for a while, and I just, I just want to know what the fuck it does. Research your invasions, kill them, and allow you to be invaded more frequently. Good if you want to have other players invade you with less time in between. But that's not gonna help us. Does that do it? I don't think I, I don't have a seed of a tree of giants. I had no idea that that was a thing. That you can't join a covenant while there's a a phantom present. Like, what? Why? Why is that even a thing? That makes no sense to me. You know what? Fuck you. There. I'll just go from the other bonfire. Sake. I swear to god if another phantom shows up I'm gonna be pissed. Suicide is the is the was the only option, boys. <laughs> it was the only option. God damn. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least I know where my souls are. It gives me a good bit to aim, a good thing to aim for. Okay. 
There we go. There we go. Finally. For God's sake. Oh, we got the Abyss Seal. Oh god. Ah, I see. Sure. Maybe we should change back to the Direct Blood set. Maybe? It seems like the Alone set is good as well, although I guess I could change my... Oh, I'm like a Phantom here. Interesting. I could change the helmet back, I guess. <clears throat> I mean, it seems like this helmet that I've got on is actually better than anything else that I have. Oh, this is... Well, then we can t take these off, though. I just remembered, we got a fucking... We actually got... Yeah, this. Attacks greatly reduce enemy stamina. That seems like it's good. My dark spirit therefore friend. Doesn't look like he's a friend if he's coming after me. And double hammers. He's fucking... What the fuck was that? Okay. Okay. Fucking hell. What the fuck? What? Are all the, uh, are all these areas like this? There's gonna be me getting Demolished? Oh, could you actually fuck right off, though? Okay. I'm dead. Poison. Cool! <coughs> I don't think I had a, I didn't... I didn't have 150,000 souls, did I? I only had, like, that was... It was 15,000, wasn't it? Because I spent all of them with getting levels. That wasn't 158,000 souls, was it? Hold on. I'm pretty sure I used them all and I only had like 15... I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it was 15,000. Hold on. Did I actually just lose 158,000 souls? Wait, how did I have 158,000 souls? Didn't I use them all to level up? Where the fuck did I get them from? Wait. 
Where? I'm confused. I didn't. I didn't. I thought I leveled up. Okay. Here's what happened. I went to the Emerald. To the Emerald Woman. I put three levels up, which took my souls down to like 11,000. And then. When the message popped up to say, do you want to put these levels on? I pressed left, but because I pressed it quite early when the message, if I pressed it too early, so the didn't actually go over yes, it stayed on no when I pressed A, because I, I thought it moved over, because I was looking at chat. It didn't move for some reason, even though I did move it. I guess I just had it too early and it didn't count on the menu, so it said no. And then... I backed out the level up. So we still had 158,000 souls on us. And I wasn't looking at it. So we did just lose 158,000 souls. But we are at pretty much the end of the game. And pretty much all of our stats that are important are at their soft caps or hard caps already. So, it's not a massive loss, not as big of a loss as it sounds, because the three level ups I used really didn't put our stats up that much anyway, so... It's not, it's not that much of a problem. Still sucks though. That we just lost all of them because I could have used them to buy healing items and stuff, but there you are. Also, kind of sucks that I have to fucking. first time you go in is free, but every other time that we want to go in there, it costs a humanity. We only have one left. So... Ah. Might have to just leave that. I only have one left. And if I'm being honest, we have to farm them. Yeah. That may be worth doing, because one, not only are we going to need a lot of humanities, possibly do the Dark Locker stuff, but we will also probably need a decent amount so that we can stay human, um, so that we can stay human and what do you call it? that we can stay human and also for uh we're gonna need some for the last boss fight as well because we have no I have no idea how tough he the last boss is I beat I've managed to beat Gwyn on my first try 
So that wasn't a problem, but I've no idea how hard the final boss is going to be for this game. So for all I know, we are going to die a lot to the last boss, and I would prefer to have ma and a few manatees to keep our health up for uh, for multiple attempts. It, uh, yeah, we might have to we might have to do that. I don't know if I want to do that on screen. Um, I might, I might do that off screen, either later on tonight or tomorrow or something. Just so, because I, I doubt you guys want to watch me sit here and farm like humanities and shit. So, I'm just going to go in here, we're going to go and see what we get from the king, now that we have all the crowns. Sorry, Vendrick, I ain't killing, I ain't fighting you. <gasps> Can I not? Oh, is, is it really not going to let me because I aggroed him? Well, I guess we're not doing that either because I don't have any soul, giant souls anymore, so fighting him is not really an option. As you'll see, I do 13 damage. So, yeah. Well, I guess so much for that as well. We are just... We're just getting fucked by the game today, aren't we? We're just, we're just getting fucked by it. How many... How many times now? Have we had something happen that's just been fuckery? First we die to the boss when he was like two hits away from death. Then I lose 150,000 souls because I didn't fucking level up when I thought I did. And then... That. Don't have enough humanities to go back through the dark lurker. And now this. God. Damn. Is it, is it the shrine? Is the shrine of a mana? The, is the place to farm souls? Let me look up. I think. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I mean, I might as well. We've not. We literally don't have anything else to do in the game. The only things left to do in the game is to do the dark locker shit and then the final boss, and that's it. And we need humanities to help with those. So, <clears throat> guys, though, kind of a mana. Here's, a, here's an option. 
I'm looking at the wiki. Just is just so I can see what the best way of doing it is. And I, it actually says that if you burn a, if you burn a bonfire aesthetic in Medulla, it allows you to slay the skeletons below the mansion, which each give you a guaranteed human effigy. And it says the amount of you there's actually more skeletons the more the higher intensity the bonfire is. So plus one we'll get two human effigies, plus three, we'll get three, plus, you know, and go oh, so on and so forth. If I use, like, five, that'll be, like, 15 human effigies. If I'm at my right. And I have plenty of bonfire aesthetics, and I don't really plan on using them on really anything else. So we can maybe just do that instead. That would probably be, that would actually might be a lot faster than anything else here. If it's if they're guaranteed, I mean, I don't have to worry about getting lucky. I guess the only thing I have to worry about is if the skeletons are tough. Uh, I don't think it does. I think the the only way to, you have to use the you have to use the bonfire aesthetics on specific. Um bonfires to get bosses to like respawn and be stronger but we've done it a few times now i i we used a human f we used that bonfire aesthetic on on um on the uh chariot horse boss and we used one on who else i also used one on the uh, on the gargoyles at belfry luna so that i could uh so that I could get a ring, and I had to like both times. I had to use, I had to use the uh, the bonfire aesthetic on like a specific bonfire to get them to like respawn. Yeah, there's two of them. Not too tough either. Yeah, and they both drop one. Nice. But I guess I'll just do this a bunch of times, and that'll give us plenty. Oh wait, this guy's gone. Where the fuck? I guess all these bonfires are like lit now. Where the hell is he? Oh yeah, forgot all the. Chess with a ring as well. We get three tiny shards and three torches each time we do this as well. Is he in here? How how did this guy die? Oh, hello. Now we get a forest lockstone every time we do this as well. Huh. Well, I don't know where that guy went. Okay, why are you little pigs following me? Did you just, like, fuck off? What are you? Sick. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, let's just sit and do this for a little while. And then we can uh, try the Dark Lurker thing again. Although it seems like it's going to be hell. Might you possibly have to worry about these skeletons starting to actually be pretty tough. Is there any is there any merchants by the way that only sell like certain items when you're at a certain bonfire aesthetic as well? Like is it worth talking to any of the merchants now? I guess we could do that either way. Talk to them and Pyromancer required. I don't think that's the case. Do this though.
noise. Oh, that's a good question. I doubt it, but I could check. No, it's still just, yeah. That'd be, that'd be pretty broken though. It'd be like a super easy way to get, to get uh, the rest of the flasks like just upgraded to like a ridiculously high amount. You sell anything now? He sells bonfire aesthetics as well. No interest. Hmm. That's like mm, two more times. Yeah, we'll get four next, and then we'll get four, and then we'll get five. <coughs> How many are we are right now? Six. I'll use one now. To get our health back up. So if we do this, yeah, two more times, that'll put us up to fourteen. And hopefully that'll be enough to last us a little while. Fucking hell. Okay, this is starting to get dangerous. Okay, yep. <laughs> Actually starting to get dangerous. <laughs> Maybe that should be the last time that we do it, because oofed. What's in the chest in the skeleton cave? Oh yeah, there's a fucking chest in there. I wonder if that gets restocked. I think it's only certain chests that get restocked. Also, that was a waste of humanity that we used there and then died immediately. Not really worth grabbing that everything for one life gem. Do they? Do these items? Oh, those items down there get respawned as well, but I don't remember what you actually get down there. Don't remember if it's if it would be worthwhile or not. Back up, back up! Oh my god. I can't. Okay. I literally can't even kill them now. This is bad. Okay. Also, that is two deaths to to the death counter. I'll do it when I'm done. Once I get these four, I'll, I'll leave it because it seems like. It seems like. Any more than four is going to just be even worse to try and deal with. And we can't even kill these four with them just fucking me, so. Any way for me? Get one at a time. Nope, they're all gonna come. Why oh, two of them came that time? Where the hell did the other two go? Did they like not respawn? 
Nah, this one doesn't reset. It stays closed. Okay, so we got seven. See, this is an issue because I'm going to have to use two every single time we die. I guess I don't have to use two every time I die. But I'm going to have to use one to get my health back up. And then I'm going to have to use another one to get back in there. And then there's like two more of those. Although I wonder, is it free every time I go to... When I go to the other ones, is it free the first time? Or is it now like it's only free the first time you go in any of them and now forever all of them are going to cost at least one? wishes I never bothered making this place a plus one bonfire aesthetic because getting down there is a fucking pain in the arse. It'll just cost each time now. Okay. I'm going to put the fire quartz ring on, simply because of the pyromancer that's in here. Okay. Oh, he actually sells stuff as well. What do you sell? Oh, he sells humanities as well. But I may as well buy them. I have the souls. There we go. Sweet. All right, so I gotta try and I gotta try and take the first guy out really quickly. I gotta take him out fast before the other fucking guys show up. Might be worthwhile using my bow to try and poison him, since he doesn't have a shield. Why can I not lock on? There we go. Usually it's like four arrows to get them poisoned. There we go. No, he's just fucking coming up immediately. Christ on me. How the fuck am I supposed to fight this? Okay, there's him indeed. Fucking Pyromancer bitch. Fuck you. Oh, we got a bonfire aesthetic. Oh, somewhat appropriate. <laughs> oh, is that all you get for these guys? Just more bon- I guess this is a place to farm those. What the hell is that as well? This is weird. Like, what, what even is this place? 
a weird cave. It's not what I was expecting. To be honest. Two ways to go. Oh, this looks important. That's a big old hole. What's required ahead? Yeah. What did I do? Oh, is it going to be like I have to play one of these in each of these areas? And then that'll like make the boss appear somewhere for me to fight them? Okay, what's down here then? Holes. Oh. I was gonna I was about to say I'm assuming these guys can't get up here, but they definitely can. That was the wrong kind of arrow. Christ. Hey, what is this sh shit you've got on you? I love poison arrows. So helpful. Trouble casting your fire there, buddy? Aww. Aim. Xanthus set. Fucking the Xanthus set. It's so ridiculous looking at that giant stupid head. <laughs> it just looks so dumb. Must be stuffed in the holes. I guess down this hole. That looks like an AM. I guess it's just the reflection of my guy with his weird glow. What required ahead? Victory ahead. Do it. Oh, hello. Um, we put on a torch just in case. I do need one. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be a. There's one of those things they light every single and every one of these, and we gotta go and get them all. Okay. So then, gotta go and get the one in the shaded woods, which I think I remember how to get to. Oh fuck! Did I have to speak to him? <laughs> fuck! I probably should. Why did I not do that? 
Oh, fuck you, all right. I can I can run back down. It'll take two seconds to run down again. Goodness sake. Okay, that was a wee bit too close. Your devotion to your covenant was deepened and you have gained a rank. Yay! I'm assuming he's talking about the abyss. Was that a What the hell did he, what the hell was it that he gave me? Oh, it's a spell. Ah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, now we can get the fuck out of here. So we've got the one in the shaded woods, which I'm pretty sure I remember how to get to. Um And then the one in Dranglet Castle, which I think I remember where that is as well. Alright, so it looks like we're probably going to not finish this until possibly tomorrow, <laughs> at this rate. Oh right, we got that, we got that item that makes them not ghosts anymore. I totally forgot about that. Hey, Deb. Okay. Now, how was it we got into him for? Ow. In here? No. How the fuck was that? Oh, he does. Okay. Hey. What's up, man? Guess I just gotta hope that I don't fucking die in these places. Hopefully this one will only have bullshit fucking pyromancers throwing shit at me while I'm fighting something else. 
Oh, Chasm of Old. Flyer ahead. Lovely. Regret. Oh, Jesus. The Paramancy does seem to be pretty overpowered. You know what else is overpowered? Fucking poison arrows, bitch. Oh, they're both coming after me. <laughs> Watch your arrows, eh? Motherfucker. Trying that shit. Going even. Oh, there's fucking piss everywhere here. Another one of these things as well. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, ball. Okay, we've got plenty of uh, flame butterflies on us. Overwhelming ahead, huh? We'll see about that. Those things creep me out the first time I saw them. What about the fucking thing that was standing here? Yeah, they're a bit creepy looking. Or like human shape, but they've got like weird horns and shit coming out of them. It's quite a strange creature. Or do you mean just like the dark phantom? Like these phantoms? Because they're kind of creepy as well, to be honest. I wasn't sure if there was going to be more than one of him in here, so I guess I could have taken him. That one was a lot easier than the first one. Was there any pyromance bullshit? It was just a guy with a bow. I not do I not get a rank up for that? Young and dead. I'm confused. What the fuck?
Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure I did. I didn't. There was three of them that I saw, and I killed all of them. I didn't. I didn't see any more. Here was one. Uh, Two phantoms simultaneously, one of them is an archer and another shield. So a melee phantom, got two of them. Do you want to have them surrounded? Okay, you can start trapping this chip. After the phantoms dealt with, you need to get you need to get past a forest spirit on the top of the this phantom. There was only three in there and I killed all three of them. What the fuck? I am confused. Hmm. Maybe the second rank up comes from finishing the third chasm in the third rank from killing Dark Lurker? Oh, maybe. Let me look at the Covenant. See what it says. Um... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rank 1, clear 1 Dark Chasm of Old. Rank 2, clear all 3 Chasms of Old. And then rank 3 is... Yeah, defeat, yeah, that is exactly what it is. Okay. So I gotta finish the other one and then we'll get to rank 2 and then we can fight the Dark Worker, I guess. It's a lot, though. A lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so we just gotta go to... Ah, uh, I did not mean that. Whoops. Alright, so we just gotta go to the one in Dranglet Castle, which is quite easy to get to. Well, I say quite easy. I mean, it is. I just gotta run through a room that's got a lot of really dangerous enemies in it and hope that they don't follow me. <coughs> Excuse me. Is there any particular reason, by the way, that some of the... Is there any particular reason that some of these areas in this select screen have orange borders and some of them have silver borders? Is that like... Hmm. I guess not. Yeah, the orange and... Like, what's going on with that? Is that... Does that mean anything? Or... Hmm. There is a reason, but I forget it. It must be like, it must be like, maybe that that's the way game's tell way of telling you that you've got all the items in that area? Maybe? That's the only thing I could really think of.
The zones that are orange are the ones where people with a similar soul memory to you are, so co-op will be easier. Oh, that's actually really cool. I never knew that. Oh, that's actually a nice little feature that they had. <coughs> So if I ever want to like, <clears throat> if I ever want to like farm souls by fighting bosses, I can just look at that and be like, oh, there's people in this area with similar. Ah, oh, okay. Whoa. Nearly walked off. I'm sorry, am I expected to do fucking... Am I expected to do... Platforming here, or... Wait, can I just... Oh, I can just walk around like that. Okay. This isn't dangerous at all. Oh, hello. Oh, you are a fucking big guy. I have him. Oh, shit. Oh, yep. Really? Ah, uh, how about no? I bet we don't do that. Gotta love how they're fucking like, oh, let's have this area with all these tiny little walkways and cliffs that you can fall off and instantly die and then let's put this big motherfucker that can push you around. That seems fair. Okay. You mother... Aye. Okay, first of all, you need to fuck right off. Oh, what a fucking sneaky place to have this. I mean, it's probably also because I'm doing this, like, at the end of the game. 
and I, this was probably something you were supposed to do when you got, um, like this was probably something you were supposed to do way before this. Like if I, if I didn't miss him in Black Gulch, I would have like done, probably have ended up doing this way earlier on the game, would have been way, 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 way weaker. So. Nearly failed in that hole there. Boss ahead. Have oh, we found the boss already? Hold on, I need to go. I need to go take a quick pee break. I'll be back in two minutes. And if this is the boss, then mm. we're in for some shit. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Yeah, just in case this is the boss that we're about to jump in and fight now that we've finished all three. Oh, what fucking is? What the f It's like a fucking Grim Reaper. It's like you actually look like death. Oh my god. Okay, what's that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Why is that two of them? Jesus fucking Christ! Can I attack any one of them? Fuck. 
Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Apparently these guys are fans of pyromancy. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Mm. No! Fuck off. No. I'm sorry, but no. What? I'm not having that. One of my hits there did not damage him for some reason. Literally one of my attacks there. I went stab and it didn't fucking do anything. And then I swung. If both of those hits actually counted, he would have fucking died there. I am calling major horse shit on that. That genuinely should have killed him. Why did one of my hits there just go through him and not hurt him? Does he have invincibility frames there? Because it didn't seem like he did the last few times that I hit him while he was doing that attack. Like, am I crazy or did that actually just not hit him for some reason when it should have? Like, what the fuck? It seems to me like he should have been dead there. Like, that's, that's really irritating. But yet again. Two times in one stream, huh? We get a boss surviving one hit away from death. It actually probably should have died, because I'm pretty sure I hit him both times there, and for some reason one of the attacks just did no damage. Other than that, that wasn't even too bad though. I mean, I nearly beat him in my first try. But, god damn, that's annoying. I really feel like that should have died. He should have, like, he should have died there. Alright, well. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping to end the stream on us beating him, but we're pretty much about at the end of the stream at this point. So, I think what we'll do is we'll leave things for the night, guys. Tomorrow. We shall hopefully take out the Dark Lurker. And then I think that's pretty much the only thing we have left to do. The only other thing we haven't done, as far as I'm aware, is kill Vendrick. But since I didn't know about the giant soul things and I don't have any, fighting him to me is just not worth the time to put in to try and kill him. I just, I fuck, genuinely not worth it, in my opinion, to, to fight him. Because just, fuck that. I'm doing, I'm literally doing like 13 damage a time <laughs> against him, so. I'm gonna, yeah, tomorrow will be us hopefully taking out the Dark Lurker and then heading down to where the fight, I'm assuming where the final boss is. I don't know if there's still like a little area left to do down there or what, but I think we'll probably be finishing this game tomorrow. And then start, I, we'll probably finish it before the end of the stream and then I don't know what I'll do. I don't know what I'll do for the rest of the stream tomorrow, I'll think of something. And then we gotta start something new on Saturday, which I have no idea what I'm starting on Saturday, so if any of y'all ever ha have any suggestions of games, ideas for us to maybe start on Saturday's stream, you can let me know on my Discord, um, or you can just like message it to me, just like fucking message, message me on Twitch or something, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna head off, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Have a good night, bye bye.